Yeah, guys, look how beautiful that bike is. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about this Raven Moto hoodie. This thing's really nice, and full disclosure, they sent me this hoodie out. And uh, like they do always, I don't really ever have to pay for anything from Raven. I just wanna let you guys know they do send me this stuff out. But I would not be putting it on my channel, and I damn sure as hell wouldn't be wearing it if it didn't, one, look good, feel good, and, and work the way it's supposed to work. I've already crashed in Raven Moto gloves and pants, and they have proven to really help. So um, the pants I still wear, and these are the gloves that I've crashed in right here. These are the Raven Moto gloves. And um, believe me when I tell you, I slid like 30 feet in them things, and I didn't break a finger or anything like that. Now, probably part of that was because a lot of my impact with my shoulders and my back and my head, um, which is why it's very important that you're wearing something that has armor. So this hoodie is an armored hoodie. It's got armor in the shoulders. It's got armor in the forearms here. Look at that big forearm armor. And then you got armor in the back. Very, very important. These are all spots that you really need armor in. It doesn't have it in the chest, uh, but these are the go-to spots when you're, when, you're, when you're getting in a crash. It's gonna be your shoulders, your forearms, your back, and your head. So very important to have uh, protection right um, speaking of which these pants uh, they have armor in the knees and they also have our armor up here in the hips now compared to the black ones that I have I think that this hip armor is a little bigger um, and then also these pants are a little different they don't have the flap that comes up so I really like these I actually like these a lot better than the other ones um, and these are their ash raven pants and they have a zipper here and all that but these are really really good too and I know that because y'all buy the shit out of these pants. So they're hoodie. This thing is marketed towards street bikes, street use. You know, because somebody asked me, oh, you know, I'm worried about sliding. You know, if I slide, is it going to roll up and I'm going to get road rash? You know, that's, that's a chance, right? That's a chance you're going to have to take. Um, but it does have the armor in it. Um, it has a coating on it, the DuPont coating, uh, the slide coating. So... And it's cotton, so it's gonna protect you the best it can. There is a chance thing can slide, there's, or you can it can roll up and you get a little bit of road rash. But honestly, guys, I'll be straight up with you. If you got in this game and you're scared to get road rash and maybe break something, um, you're in the wrong you're in the wrong hobby because it's not if it's when you're gonna dump your bike eventually. Hopefully, you don't get hit by a car like I did. Um, you know, hopefully you guys stay safe and. You know, I pray everyone's still safe, but the, the fact of the matter is it's very dangerous. And, you know, if you're scared of a little getting banged up, you're probably probably in the wrong sport. So, this hoodie is for casual street riding, right? It's not to go out to the track at Coda running laps, you know? It's not to go hit twisties in. Um, now, if it just so happens, like today, I was out riding around and I ended up on a twisty road. Fine. You, you know, that's why you're in gear. Yeah, that's that's fine you know i know if i do go down i'm at least somewhat protected but i also i'm going to take it easy a little bit because one this is a brand new bike and i'm still new with a 1000 cc so you know I, I was taking it easy but um and also i have this bad boy in full power mode now and i need the first oil change so kind of uh waiting to to for you guys to see that where i can get a lot better anyway um so if you're gonna go to the track and if you're like for me the times where I put on my full gear, my Dionysi or my Alpine Stars gear, jackets and the whole leather thing and with the uh, knee cups and all that, you know, that's going to be for when I'm right, like on the track or, you know, when I, I specifically know I'm going to the twisties to, to ride all day out in the twisties, you know. If I'm just going to go to bike night or I'm going out to meet a girl or whatever and I want to bring my baby out and I'm going to go rip around a little bit on the town. This is what I'm wearing. This is perfect street use, you know what I mean? It's like perfect street gear for when you're on your motorcycle. Even if you have a Harley or a Cruiser. Dude, if I was on a Harley, I would be definitely wearing something like this. I know there's flannel companies that make armor and all that stuff, but you know, Raven Moto, I love their logo. It's got a uh, reflective material here, and also in the back, that R, that's also reflective. So it gives you a little bit of reflectivity. <laughs> reflectivity, is that a word? I, anyway. Um, and yeah it's nice so 100 or not 100 percent. i keep saying that 80 percent cotton uh 20 polyester and i believe that is just that liner on the inside which holds the armor 
So the rest of this thing though on the outside, the cotton, you can feel it's nice and heavy. It's, it was like 89 degrees today in Austin and I was wearing this, I was pretty comfortable knowing it was gonna cool down at night and I really feel like I'm not hot in it, you know? So it's really kind of nice. Um, sweating in it, you know, when you go to take it off and you're sweating in it, it's a little bit of a struggle because of the, uh, the liner inside. Uh, but you know, it is what it is, right? It's a freaking armored hoodie. You can't have everything. So I'm out here. Uh, I would say temperature wise where it's comfortable to wear this is anything from like about 65, 70, maybe to 85. And this is a really good combo to wear, especially with these pants. Uh, if it's colder than that, it's probably gonna be a little bit too, too much, uh, too much airflow going through. Um, it has the ventilation here, which is so sick. On both sides, you want to vent, you know, get that heat out of you, and it does work just like the pants do. You know, it lets that heat dissipate out, and it's really, really nice. I love it. Uh, you got some thumb holes here to help you out if you want to, you know, wear that. If you're at bike night and, you know, your hands get a little cold, got the thumb holes, got your hands in your pocket. And then if you're riding and you want stuff stored, you can use the zipper pocket and in here I just keep some Blistex I always keep Blistex on me when I'm riding and that's a zipper pocket you keep your phone uh, charger whatever you need to put in there to, that's not gonna fly out when you're riding right um, so that's nice and then you got the regular thing here regular uh, hoodie pockets now here you also have pockets and one thing that I've noticed is the stitching here it's all really really nice it's not gonna fall apart like look at the stitching it's all it's nice and stitched all the way around on both sides, this is high quality uh, garment. You know, they really spent a lot of time with this and I, I really appreciate that. I've reviewed enough stuff on this channel, hoodies, flannels, uh, high quality leather boots that are worth six, $700, you know? Uh, I reviewed all kinds of different stuff on this channel. So I know when I get a high quality garment that is actually worth the money they're charging you. Like this thing is like 200 plus dollars. So, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and put it on my channel and be like, yo, go buy this hoodie for that's $200 just so I can make a buck, but it's gonna fall apart in three months. Like, that's not how we do it on this channel. This hoodie is exceptional. They spent a lot of time on this. Um, I would not be telling you guys this if I didn't believe in them. They use YKK zippers. I don't know about this one. I don't know if this is a YKK zipper, but I know for sure that these are. Uh, so I don't know that this one is, but um, I'm sure it's not a terrible zipper. Uh, it's got, nice little you know velvet or i don't know what you would call that uh silky kind of material on the inside but the stitching is really nice reflective material you got the keeper here for this um and just look at this thing i mean you just look really good on it and look at the way you look on a bike you know like are you serious it looks so good that combination it just looks so freaking good so, when you're going out, you know, like I said, you're going out with the boys, you're going to bike night, you're going to meet a girl, and you don't want to get all raced out, and you know, sometimes it's okay, I'll throw the leather jacket on, right? Throw the leather jacket on, because there's nothing sexier than a leather jacket, you know what I mean? That's a proven fact. Um, but the leather jackets for that you would wear, just like a Dionysi that has the like silver and all that stuff, it's a little much for date night, you know what I mean? And or. You know, if I'm going on a real date, like, you know, like I'm trying to marry the girl, I'm probably not gonna bring my motorcycle, right? I'm probably gonna dress up a little bit. Probably gonna leave that for like maybe date three where, or something, or, or maybe date one where we're just meeting for coffee or, or something like that. Like, I'm just giving examples here. It don't have to be about a date, you know? You could just be meeting the boys out to the sports bar and you know, you don't wanna get all race decked out and you just wanna wear a hoodie and some jeans, but you wanna be protected on your motorcycle, guys. Don't get on these bikes without gear. Please do not wear t-shirt and jeans when you're riding a rocket ship. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Ask me how I know. One time, one time I didn't put my Alpine Stars jacket on. That one time I got hit less than three miles from my house. Hit by a car doing 30 miles an hour. I am so lucky and blessed to be alive. You have no idea. Please wear your gear. The helmet saved my life. I would be dead. This is a fact. This is not... Maybe I would be, no. If I didn't have a helmet on, my head is cracked in half, my face is destroyed, my jaw is broken, my neck, I'm dead. There's no will, there's no hard city. I don't exist, period. 
don't get on these things without the gear guys it's it's too dangerous so uh what else can i really say uh, i love raven moto they're a huge channel uh affiliate and you guys the links will be below for all that so another thing i wanted to mention thank you guys so much for everything that you do like we are the new kids on the block in the motorcycle scene on youtube you got your 650 ebs you got your jared campeses you got your dank nooner or dank wheelie or whatever his name is no disrespect i just don't know his name uh fast lane d yammy tube and now you have hard city i'm blowing up pretty quick and it's thanks to you guys thank you all so much for everything that you're doing i mean you're watching the videos you're watching the videos and it and it's it's circulating like who's this kid on the you know i started out on the ninja now i'm on this i'll be honest the ninja 400 videos from compared to this one in the start did way better because there's so many of you who want to get involved in motorcycling and you want to you wanted to start out and I, I was starting at like beginner motorcycle beginner beginner now this is an expert motorcycle this is a 1000 cc nut how this is an that thing's crazy okay <laughs> it's very very fast and i have it in full power mode now it is bonkers fast and it isn't even close to the v4s which i want by the way um we'll talk about that in other videos subscribe there's going to be more videos talking about the ducati can you start on a bike like this absolutely you can because it dropped power modes i mean you can ride this thing it's easy anybody could do it anyways i love you guys so much thank you use the links below 10 percent off hard city all capital letters thank you all so much again if you want to become a patron member to get um giveaway stuff by for almost forgot to say this giveaway stuff is on patron so the patrons got to see an unboxing of this hoodie i'm giving away this hoodie i'm giving away pants i'm giving away gloves i'm giving away an Arai corsair x helmet at 50 patrons the first thing we give away at 50 is the hoodie a month later we're going to give away like gloves or pants and then so on and so on eventually that uh 800 or $1, Arai corsair helmet once we get to 50 patrons i think we're at like 12 now uh they them guys over there patron thank you so much y'all are keeping the channel running that money that you donate to patron it does not go to my pocket it goes towards buying this hoodie or other gear or whatever i have to do to give back to the community that's given me everything so that's kind of my thought process behind that so patron link will be below if you guys want to join and have a chance to win some raven moto gear and other cool stuff and hopefully one day a motorcycle i'm not making no promises on that we're not even really going to get into it but one day as a goal my goal would be to give away an entire motorcycle i would i would love to help someone out and make their dream come true and get them their first bike you know i, I just would love to do that just, just to give back to the to you guys you know um so we're the new kids you know i've looked forever if y'all been subscribed to this channel for any length of amount of time, you know that I struggled for a really long time with finding a niche for this channel. And the motorcycle stuff is it. Like, this is my life. And uh, we're going to talk about that in another video as well. So make sure you guys are subscribing. I have an amazing story to tell you guys. My story of how I got here and what is going on is nothing short of, like, a book series and a movie. Um, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be expressing that, the emotions, all the feelings, the trials, the tribulations, the hurt, the pain, everything. Everything it took to get here. You guys are along for the journey. Thank you all so much for uh, watching. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Peace.